All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime East Sky Memories video. So uh, I just wanted to make a quick little thing talking about some missions that are in the um, in the mission in the limited mission tab that are, are a part of the um, Chancellor Rookie Support Campaign. Um, don't mind all these missions. <laughs> I still have a lot to do, but um, eventually right here. So. Here we have these um, like main story, main story uh, missions, and they give flashback crystals. So I have this right here, this notepad, where essentially um, all the missions available. So there's 16 in total. Um, chapters one through four give you thirty thousand. It gives you four all the way up. In total, it gives you seven hundred and twenty thousand flashback crystals now this is the beginner difficulty so it should be relatively easy um but if you're like a new player then it'll take a little bit of time but you should get to it um soon like like it's not like the biggest hurdle in the world to cross but eventually in total if you complete all of it and you don't spend any of it you will get 720,000 flashback crystals in total and you have essentially like four and a half months so it's not like you have a lot of time to clear it so let's talk about what exactly um you're gonna like you should do with them um i think these missions are really good for like beginning players and also normal players because there's a lot of things you can get so um okay well i guess starting from here there's all these um buildings that you can get so they typically give out three buildings or three blueprints um, for each meta which you can build the houses and stuff like that up to you if you want to collect these if you um, if You like collecting these and then go for it um, But there are all the free-to-play characters up until they started giving out um <coughs> EX like or not EX the five star free-to-play characters with the beatdown battles those aren't in here um, Their gear and stuff are but like the actual character shards are not in here um but to do have the free to play protectors and stuff like that, anything that's a four star or lower um, will be in the shop. Um, so it's a really good. Um, I would honestly prioritize. Where, where is he? Um, I would prioritize uh, this Rimuru um, and this Geld. And this Misery is not bad. Um, she can be like, OK, uh, Isis is really good. Um, Hero can be decent, I think, um, depending on like a setup or whatever. Soka's not bad. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good or decent free-to-play characters, but I would prioritize um, this Water Rimuru, Isis, and Geld. They're the, they're the best free-to-play characters out of all of these. Um, but yeah, you can use your flashback crystals to select a certain free-to-play character, or um, you can do... What I think is slightly the better option, um, or I guess just the better option in my opinion, is you can buy one of these. So, <clears throat> there, these things, uh, with the 720,000 that you get, you can either buy like a couple of these, so, like you could buy this one, um, like these two, or like these three, um, because 24 times three is 72, so yeah, you could buy like these three, right? But um, you could also save for this one too. So there's a, there's a lot here, but um, essentially what these do is these unlock um, certain things down here in this serial code bazaar, uh, bonus bazaar. And depending on the item you buy, you can purchase certain things that unlock these characters. So um, I would just make your game full screener as big as you can and see like what exactly you can get so <clears throat> let's if we go back here right um these things so like this one the 500,000 uh is unlocks like the quest you can also click on them and it'll show you um so you can get access to these quests right these two give quests now I can't a hundred percent recommend this um but it, it depends so so you have these quests, right? And these are for this quest in the event tab. Oh, not this, not, not Tempered Edge. Um, 
down here. So it unlocks this one, interview with the purple progenitor, and then also this one. So this one, I don't I don't even remember what it gave me. Um, but this one gives you an official movie ticket that you can use in the shop bazaar. Um, but, you know, sure you can get that, but I think there's a better, there's a better one you can get. So that ticket, that official movie ticket, grants you any one of these. So starting from this space Rimuru, all of these characters down here, which are okay, but, um... Nothing too crazy, right? Like mostly basic units, um, but missing a lot. Uh, and then if you scroll up here, you'll see there's a bigger option. So uh, these ones were the Rimuru with like the dragon and then also the movie one. Um, these will grant you the opportunity to buy uh, this, like the dedicated equipment for the fire violet if you managed to pull her she is in the basic pool now um and you can get this ticket so this ticket um is a free choice ticket so it allows you to choose any one out of all of these so as a newer player i would recommend you get that one um of course you can go a different path um because i believe this ticket is just a gen generic five star ticket and the, the access of units that you have is bigger than this one not by much like you can get some like better characters like you can get violet um you could get toa but like it's not that much bigger and i guess the dark anniversary units um but like if you're just a new starting out player and you don't have like a lot of good five stars then this could be your one chance to pull the hero if you don't have her and the hero like i've said like many other players have said hero is the best support unit in the entire game because of her rewind skill that is it essentially just gives you a free turn like for free so very very powerful still the best skill um even though she's like essentially a year and a half old still very viable um so you if you choose this path of uh, if you farm thirty thousand more flashback crystals which can be a little difficult, um, considering, let's see, 100 is 30, so you would need, uh, you need 30,000. We need to do this 30 times, essentially. Um, oh, well, my, more like 3,000 times, but <clears throat> you get what I mean, right? Like, it's, it's a lot, um. So we just hold this. So I want to get to 109,000. So let me just decrease from here. So uh, get exactly 30,000. You need to do this 300 times. So that's going to cost you 9,000, which if you're a beginning player, like that can be expensive, right? Um, so you can try your hand the ticket, but there's RNG. You could get someone really bad, um, like Clayman or something. Like you get someone you don't entirely need. So I would recommend doing this one, which is I would recommend saving up for this one right here. The um seven hundred and fifty thousand one. But if you can't or you don't want to, you can get one of these ones and try your hand at the um at the five star ticket. Uh that is probably what I would recommend buying the most just because at least you're guaranteed like a five star um but like if you're like a normal or like a more advanced player you could try your hand for this and maybe hope you get like violet or something um because violet's not part of this right so yeah that's that's pretty much it um just a short video talking about what exactly you can buy I would recommend clearing this I mean when you can um it's just always nice like to have something and you'll eventually be able to get it and if you like get the hero before you even need to buy this then you can change your mind right you could like so choose to buy something else get a ticket hopefully you get someone else um it's up to you the, the hero even has a good gauge um so you could get that if you want i don't know um but yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys found this useful um 
you have any questions, then let me know down below. Um, also, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.